Don't show them your undies. Why are you looking at your balls? We gotta snoop the doop it. Oh, <laughs> stop doing that. Today, this is what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I need your help with everything I do. I literally look like a guy in a bachelor bed. Hey baby, what's good? You want some Chipotle today? You want a big fat burrito today? Oh God, this intro. on the other okay first thing about a king size bed do you love cuddling do you love your relationship don't get a king size bed I feel like I sleep it's alone amazing. every night I hate it I feel like I sleep alone I'm someone who gets really cold at night and I never get any of your body heat or anything like that at night it, I mean okay that sounds really inappropriate but like okay can you like actually come in and like pay attention he's like really zoning out right now last night as you're fast asleep in this bed let me tell you the shit that went down and it's gonna be so disgusting we have to wash these sheets don't what? ask questions yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. last night this is what happened we fall fast asleep I don't even remember falling asleep honestly I don't even remember him coming into the room because he was doing work out there and I was like am I asleep I don't even remember any of this just all the last thing that I remember is last night as I was doing dishes I was watching Grey's Anatomy old rerun episodes on Netflix and one of the episodes that I was watching was like the climactic moment where George O'Malley gets hit by a bus because he's sick in a life and he dies in a car accident and also if that's a spoiler for you bitch you need to catch up that was like 50 million seasons ago okay Derek Shepard was still alive mind you this is fresh in my brain when I fall asleep so I fall asleep and in the middle of the morning I think it was like 6 30 in the morning I wake up to the most excruciating pain I have felt in a long time after moving all of this big furniture around after you know getting three hours of sleep moving in nothing this was so crazy compared to like I just never and so for some reason I wake up and like my first thought is I've been in a car accident and I'm waking up in a hospital like that's how painful this entire experience was I felt like my spine had shattered okay super dramatic but this is like I can't even explain to you right I wake up like that and then I realize oh I'm in this room and then I'm like no am I just thinking I'm in this room but I'm actually in a hospital and everything's so white am I in a mental to hospital you know what's going on and so then I start reaching for my back I don't have any like like literally this was going through my mind I don't have any like IVs I'm like okay so I'm obviously at home everything should be okay why do I feel like I got hit by a bus and so I'm laying there and I'm like oh, it's probably a dream and I'm like wait my butt's kind of wet oh <laughs> and so then I'm like oh my god I peed myself in my why are you looking at yourself why are you looking at your balls <laughs> and so I'm like oh my god the dream was probably so scary that I got hit by a truck that I probably peed myself in my dream I roll off the bed mind you my entire body still feels like it's been hit by a car and I'm like what a crazy dream walk to that bathroom throw all of my panties all of my freaking shorts off into the laundry hamper go to the room get a new one okay and then I come back and lay in bed I can't fall asleep I can't even lay myself on the bed in a position that like and it was so bad to the point where he's sleeping so peacefully and I go babe I think I'm gonna die <laughs> like I woke him up and this guy goes hmm right and I go I am in so much pain I don't know what happened and he goes Mm. And then he rolls on over to the right side of the bed and starts cuddling me and I'm like, no, don't touch me I'm in pain. I don't think you understand. I'm not asking for your hugs right now Your hugs are not gonna bandage my broken back and so I'm like get off of me, right? And then he goes, mmm, and then he rolls off into the middle of the bed like this And then I'm like, okay, why do I feel like I have to diarrhea now? <laughs> and so I go back to the bathroom and I diarrhea and I look down and there's blood everywhere and so I go oh my god my body's breaking down and so then I'm like wait a minute did I start bleeding what took you so long honey? because it's never been this painful it wasn't even like a regular cramp kind of pain and so then I'm like oh my god 
I'm bleeding. Is this a cramp? And so I put on a giant piece of underwear, put on a giant, like literally a diaper, and I roll back into bed now that I'm like, oh my God, I'm bleeding. And then I was like, wait, we saw butt sweat or? And then I lift up the covers and you were just rolling around in, in my mother nature time. And I did not have the heart to wake you up and tell you because at this point it was too late, okay? You already went through the mess, okay? I What's the point of me waking you up? And so I just kind of like giggled and then I put the covers back down after like that didn't happen. Wow. <laughs> and so that is the story of how I started my period like I do every month. This is not a normal feeling how and so how are you feeling now i mean i am drugged up on ibuprofen so i don't really feel much right now so you're good now i'm not good but i'm okay <laughs> let me show you guys i was doing some editing this morning after i woke up and took so much ibuprofen but let me show you guys what i had to do to my chair so these are like the white velvet chairs and these are like kind of pricey they were from cb2 so there is no way that i can just ruin this chair because it's the time of the month so i decided to put one of the dog pee pee pads onto the chair and that's my grocery list yes you can already tell what kind of shit i'd be making today because cheese sticks panko frying oil oh this Are you sure that's yeah. what it's for? It's a fire escape. How do you jump down? They put something here? No, you, that's just, you probably won't break as much from there. We just set up our PO box downtown and honestly, don't love it, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do, okay? We can't drive to Beverly Hills to pick up packages. I actually really liked that location specifically because the owner was so sweet. He was always nice every time I came, always helped to open the door and stuff. And this one is definitely a lot busier. They don't even have parking, so this is just gonna be a struggle. So I'm gonna try to update all of the PO Box packages. If you guys wanna send letters, maybe I'll do like a letter walk. <laughs> I always thought that would be super cute, so. What everybody tells themselves when they wake up, you are a goddess living in a city of angels. <laughs> I believe in you, so that makes two of us. What is this? This is so motivational and shit right now. Hello, are you a Charlie? Oh, I'm getting creeped out. <laughs> not today, but it's not today. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know, it's security. It's running, it's literally running away from me. Oh my god, it's literally running away from me. Hello? I need a friend, finally. I don't know. This is really cute. And they have a juice bar, they've got Nordstrom's, they've got Uniqlo up there. What's up there? Starbucks looks cute. We just got into Uniqlo and he's gonna be trying on a bunch of just plain tees and wait. Oh my gosh, that was a journey. That was a trek. I didn't even try anything on. Usually when I go somewhere, I wanna try things on, I wanna browse, but I was just cramping so much in there. I was literally leaning up against this is the Nordstrom. We just went to Uniqlo. My fiance got like an entire new wardrobe at Uniqlo of just like all the basics, like undershirts even underwear base <laughs> and so I think we're gonna head home real quick because I have to upload a video before we go to Whole Foods I don't think we can go to Whole Foods before we go so we're gonna go back home we're gonna walk on home you ready for your new clothes <laughs> you always wears like the simplest things ever what do you what is your significant other wear do you guys like it because this guy wait do you think we can find a way this way this guy straight up all he wears is just literally black t-shirts okay and I'm just like, what the heck? Today, he's he got five black t-shirts out of like, what, six shirts that you got? They were all black. What, you want me to dun, haul it? Dun, dun, dun. Will you haul it, really? We got a, what is this, sweater? <laughs> For 10 bucks. Yeah. What is it, 10 bucks? Yeah. A short 30 bucks. That's expensive. Undies Okay, for... don't show them your undies. Oh. <laughs> you inappropriate. Oh, these are all, all underwear. All and undies socks. and socks. T-shirt for 15 bucks. Black t-shirt for 15 bucks. Got another same black, black t-shirt for 15 bucks. bucks. Another, another same black, black t-shirt for 15 bucks. bucks. Different black t-shirt for... 
15 Two bucks. Wow, <laughs> you are so colorful, sir. <laughs> we got Holy a cow. now we got a white short wow. for thirty bucks. Polos, Polos for thirty bucks each. Eclo, so nice. you need your first tall. <laughs> also, I read online and you guys left it in the comments that we effed up our feng shui, and that might be the reason that I feel like I got into a car accident this morning because having a mirror directly you in front of your bed. No, 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 felt oh, like. Yeah. Having a mirror directly in front of your bed apparently is really bad feng shui. And I remember someone had told me this. I think you guys were commenting it at the old place because we had those sliding glass closet mirror doors at the old place. But let me tell you a little something, 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 okay? This took a little bit too long to put up. It was a little bit too heavy. It was a little bit too expensive. And on top of that, what's bad for feng shui might be... Really good for sex, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just that reflection of all the body parts. You get it, okay? Anyways. <laughs> honey, 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 come here. Let me show you the craziest thing. I'm going to be doing this everywhere I go, including public restrooms, any Airbnbs, any hotels that I'm staying at, and fitting rooms even at stores. And one of you beautiful fanny packers left it in the comments. I got makeup here. How did I get makeup there, honey? You need to see this one visually, you know? Are you guys ready for this? If your fingers, when you touch a mirror, they don't connect, do you guys see that space between my fingers? That's a real mirror. If they do connect, I can't show you guys, but if they do touch and they're index pointing, fingering each other, that means it's a double-sided mirror and someone is snooping on the other side, bits! We got a snoop de doo bits! <laughs> If, if, oh, wait, 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 wait. I got scared. I what got are you scared. doing? I got scared. Stop doing that. Can you stop? So what I'm saying is, if you put your finger there, it connects right now, what would you do? <laughs> Literally scream like what I just did. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to Whole Foods where I'm going to touch more mirrors. <laughs> that was too much. That was too much, boo. He thinks I can't pick it up. Hold this. Ready? Okay. One, two. Honey, 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 honey. That's so why you can't make fun of them when they're holding your basket. Two hundred fifty-three thousand million quadrillion years later, and I have morphed into a boiled egg. Seventy-two has made a full transition into a boiled egg. I took the fattest nap. I actually ended up doing a giant corn dog cooking. Okay, no, it wasn't giant, but the video took me a giant ass time to do a cheesy Korean corn dog recipe. And I just wanted to show you guys an update on my drawer because I feel like I haven't showed you guys this. Yes. I I do drawer updates now. That is what my life has become. I have been trying not to indulge in this purchase, but I just couldn't help it. So you guys know that I had a bunch of silverware, which I still have. Okay, you know what? Just to prove it to you that I'm not a crazy person. Here, look at this. I'm gonna keep this because I know that these are gonna come in handy, but if you guys know a good way to clean all of this, oh my God, it doesn't even show on camera. Of course it doesn't. But there's so much like rusting on this silverware set that I have so much scratches rusting that I have tried so hard to get rid of and I'm not sure how to get rid of it. Let me show you guys the new edition. He told me not to get it and guess what I immediately did? I done got it. <laughs> so these are from West Elm. I got a 20 piece solid fake gold utensil set because that is what my life has become. I'm like, ooh, you know Versace? Let me try to replicate their life but in the fake way. So these are... Oh my gosh, I mean, they're just so pretty. I think I got inspired because my sister had, I don't know if it, hers was from West Elm. They were really, really pretty though. So I tried to get like the exact ones. I'm pretty sure hers were West Elm because my sister's obsessed with that store. So we've got big spoons, we've got little spoons, big forks, little forks. Honestly, I know that you're supposed to use them specifically for different things, but I just use them per people. So like if my fiance needs a fork, I give him a big fork. If I need a fork, I usually gravitate towards the little fork. So it's just, he gets the big ones I get the small ones and that's just how it's been working and then I have all of my like wooden utensils these are my main babies I mean I like the gold ones but these my wooden spoons chopsticks oh my gosh this one has been my lately favorite I got it at smorgasburg 
couple Sundays ago. It's like a real crazy unique wood. This was like probably the most expensive utensil that I own and I treasure this baby, this wooden spoon. <laughs> and then we've got some wooden forks in there. And then I'm gonna try to link these. If I remember, I'm so sorry, please remember, I have been linking so much random stuff and then it's like when I'm editing and then when I'm posting is like, come on, let's just say this time a shit show, okay? And so I got these golden utensil set from Amazon. It was pretty affordable. I looked everywhere else. Even Target was a lot more expensive. I did my research. So it came with like a, um, I think there's another set in the dishwasher. Not a set, but like another thing in the dishwasher. It's got like the ladles, this little spatula, another spatula. And then these I think are so pretty. These are rose gold tongs from Amazon, so I have a big one and a smaller one and I just feel like this makes me so happy because I spend so much time in the kitchen and these are like so pretty. And these days, I don't know what it is, but you know how most people would put all of their utensils into a drawer like this, like I did with all the ones that I'm not currently using? But for some reason, this actually works a lot better for my life. I'm not sure why, I think it has to do with the fact that like, I feel like it even scratches less. I mean, I haven't done it long enough to give you guys a proven theory, but I do feel like it scratches is less because when you put it down I feel like it's always slipping and sliding but this is just I mean once you put it in even doing this doesn't make them rub up on each other you know like if I had like a lifestyle vlog or a blog then I could do like a cute plate of like I don't know dragon fruit and some acai bowls and some freaking star fruit you know what I'm saying and then like a little gold knife and then like ooh, health as well you know Oh my god, I already envisioned that. <laughs> Did you just say they're nipple tangerine? I have Can we invest in a tripod? What's that? Are we really back to this position again? We're back to it. My back has been killing me. <laughs> Can you not look at me like I'm crazy? Before we end today's video, I'm gonna actually insert a clip from yesterday's vlog that I didn't use and it's me trying one of the best Japanese ramen spots in downtown LA, Little Tokyo. Like I would say that Little Tokyo is probably as Japanese as it gets on the West Coast and even like the East Coast. I don't know if like New York City has one but I know Atlanta didn't have like a Japanese town. There's one on Satel called Little Japan Town but it's nothing as good as Little Tokyo downtown. And so we post made it this awesome ramen. I'm going to leave that clip right here because it was just, it was too delicious to waste that clip. And I didn't, I didn't get a full vlog yesterday. So in three, two, ramen. Oh, oh my God, that yolk. What the heck? Let's eat two because that, you're making it sound so good. Okay, there's shrimp tempura. Wait, did I give you guys? They have like these little fish cakes that we put in there. Some pork. Oh my God. Wait, it's that good? Okay. Oh my God, take a bite of that egg. Holy cow, what kind of egg is this? Mm. Dude, this is the best Japanese ramen I've ever had. Have you had good Japanese ramen? Oh, in New York, mm -hmm. we had some good one in New York. That wasn't as good as this. Mm. Okay, this is the egg. Do you guys see how juicy and flowy it is? Oh my gosh. What kind of egg is this? I feel like they especially. <gasps> that egg dog. Mm -hmm. That egg what dog. What kind of egg is it? Oh my god. What is this sorcery? Kimchi? <gasps> mm. Oh my god, the pork is so good. Dude, that egg is blowing me away. Tempura? This is good. Mmm, my god. Is this one better than the one we had in New York? We had New York's best ramen, which is called Toto Ramen. Mm -hmm. We waited like an hour and a half. I don't know, why do you think they do that? So. Did you tell them this one? This one? It's Jinya Ramen and it's really good. I've been to like better ones, like higher rated online, and I didn't mm. like them as much as this one. Wow. Mm. Okay. Why do you think that New York restaurant does that? So there's a New York restaurant called Toto Ramen. It has like 10 seats available inside. They make shit ton of money. I don't know why they don't expand. Do you think that's part of the appeal? They want to keep that hole in the wall vibe? They have multiple locations though. Do they? I thought yeah. it was just mm -hmm. one main one. Mm -hmm. What? It's New York. It's expensive. Mm. It's 
really good. I love the fact that I didn't do my hair, so I'm looking like a broomstick right now. No, you didn't. Oh, and then you were gonna say, why did she do it like that? Mm -hmm. No. Say, I was gonna compliment. Bush, get out of here. <laughs> what you hiding, huh? It's a nice wavy <laughs> hair you did today. <laughs> Nice broomstick hair you got going on. These little pork bits are so good. Mm -hmm. What kind of pork is this? Belly? Yeah, pork belly. But you know what? The broth is a little salty. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of Japanese ramen, they're pretty thick. Yeah, it's milky. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip and I love you guys so, so much. My back is hurting me. I feel like my spine is about to fall out my asshole. So I gotta go take an Advil and lay down and just edit and like have a chill night. So I love you guys and I gotta go. I love you. Ah.